I was born in the early days of television, 1955, where TV and radio um, shared the airwaves, and there were still some really good dramas and uh, stories on uh, on radio. But television, before too many years, um, totally replaced the uh, radio programs with uh, with video fare. It might be difficult for young people to believe that uh, at one time there were only three TV networks, NBC, CBS, and ABC. Being from a generation that grew up with these three, I was surprised to find out that uh, many programs were taped over or not recorded at all to cut down produ production costs. Many were broadcast live. Let me give you some mind-blowing examples of programs lost that would be so awesome to watch today. I'll begin with The Tonight Show, starring Johnny Carson. The first 10 years that Carson hosted the show, from 62 to 72, all of those years were recorded over. The videotapes were uh, recycled over and over again. And because of this, only a handful of segments exist. Those saved were at Carson's personal request because of uh, there being some of his favorite moments. That 10 years, um, a 10 year period, encompassed the entire run of The Tonight Show from New York. And when the show moved west to Burbank, California, the videotapes finally began to be archived. Another show uh, was Beulah, which was based on the radio program of the same name. The show title itself, uh, or the show itself, was a spin-off from the phenomenally popular radio comedy Fibber McGee and Molly. The television version ran on ABC TV from 1950 to 1953, historically significant as, as it was the first television uh, program to star an African American. There were a total of 87 episodes, of which only three remain. At one time in the 1950s, there was a fourth network, Dumont. Actually, uh, Dumont went out of business in 1956, and ABC took it over. In need of warehouse space, uh, employees of ABC dumped hundreds of Dumont kinescopes in Upper New York Bay. Lost video gems included Your Show of Shows, featuring Sid Caesar. Captain Video, television's first foray into the science fiction world, was also lost in that ter terrible purge for warehouse storage space. Soap operas until recently were um, staple programming, first on the radio and then on uh, television. Very few episodes were saved by the networks until the late 1970s because it was thought that there was no rerun value in these shows. One exception to this was ABC TV's gothic soap opera, which ran from 1966 till April 1971. Every <coughs> episode exists yet, uh, except one. And that one was recreated when the show aired on the Sci-Fi Channel in the 1990s. Game shows were also victims because, again, the networks felt those there was no value to them as uh, syndicated reruns. Some do still exist and have found a home in the um, archives of the game show network. GSN has proven the value of the old game shows for sure. Then there is Doctor Who, which aired on the BBC in England and later came to the USA on PBS. This sad example is another uh, case of a network needing storage space. In 1975, the BBC threw out or erased thousands of tapes, of which 108 were episodes of Doctor Who, which had um, debuted in 1963. There are many other examples, including news and sports programs. Yes, it, ha it is sad that so much of cultural worth was recorded over or dumped. A very sad thing. The early cinema did not fare any better, and we will perhaps take a look at that a little bit later on. <laughs> 